Now, I don't have a lot of time to do what I'd like to do with you today. I mean, I, uh, we could get into all sorts of different things, but I'm going to be a little bit demanding of you. I know I, I had to miss a lot of the talks today because I had another speaking engagement, but I, I, I caught a little bit of the beginning, and I noticed a little, bit, a little bit of talk anyways on the importance of physicality, you know, remembering that we're not just brains being carried around by these bodies that we happen to have. We are human beings in our bodies. I noticed that one of the sponsors here is, uh, is a yoga place. That's good. I'm starting to get into it. Not the best yet. Whatever, working on it. But I would, I would like to invite you, and I think this is more than just a shtick, you know? This is important to me. I would like to invite you all to stand up right now for a second here. Get up, come on, there we go. Now, a friend of mine once asked me a great question. She said, why do people sigh? And I said, I don't know. I was expecting that it was a joke, waiting for the punchline. But she looked me in the eye and she said, because it works. And I was perplexed. But then I tried it, and I would like to invite you to do the same thing with me. I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and then exhale on an ah. So let's do this together now. Ah. It works, right? <laughs> so now, let's do it one more time. Okay, so now we're gonna do something a little bit different than that. Now that we're all feeling nice and relaxed, I believe that, you know, we'll, we live in a society that offers us a lot of wonderful benefits. A primal scream releasing all of your existential angst is not one of those opportunities that is often given to us in our society. You want medical treatment? We got that. The opportunity to scream your face off in public and let out your existential angst? Less common. These days. The four-year-olds know, and then we forget it somehow. We keep telling them to shut up, and then we remember that. So I would like to invite you here at this conference. We've all been doing a very good job of listening, but I think it would be wonderful if we all had the opportunity to sort of have a, a shared experience of a kind here as a group, other than just listening. On the count of three, I want you to open up your body, open up your voice, open up your mind first if you got to, and I want you to forget about what you do for a living. I want you to forget about what your job is or your status or what you came here to learn or achieve. None of that matters right now. All I want you to do is just be a human body in this room screaming at the top of your lungs. One, two, three. Doesn't that feel great? Now here's the thing, some of you didn't believe me. There was at least two people in this room who were not screaming at the top of their lungs. So I am gonna give you one more chance because if you decide to try it 10 minutes from now, you're gonna be a lunatic. So, so let's just, just do one more time. Let's all do it together now and let's see if you can't make everybody in the student union building wonder what the hell is going on. Let's see if we can up the volume just a little bit now. Here we go. One, two, three. That is the best thing that I get to do as part of my job. I love doing that. All right, I think we're ready to move on to something more complicated. See if you can follow me along here. Something sort of like a... Whoa! Oh, it feels so nice. I think we might be ready to begin. Where the devil was blowing coal through the smokestacks of your mind. Dylan's hanging on the cross, the piano's doing fine. Jacob's on the ladder, smoking candy cigarettes. The Chinaman's got a heartburn and a thousand TV sets. With arms as big as airplanes, he ripped his mama's blouse. The preacher man is hiding now, but we know he's in the house. And you think I've kept the fellows, but you'd better guess again. I don't understand these spirits, no, I only channel them. I said, la da 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 The tax 
the dumbest picked me up at a quarter after ten. He fixed my troubled mind and then he took me home again. The river smelled quickly, but the sky has disappeared. The Mohegans don't leave nothing but a single unshed tear. The midway's closing down, but it's been a lovely run. <laughs> and 50 years means nothing if the town's been having fun. And you think I've kept the bones, but you better guess again. I don't understand these spirits, no, I only channel them. I say, la da 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 Thank you very much. You guys are truly wonderful.